Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can graph the rational function y equals ax plus b over cx plus d. So it's kind of a four-step process. Really it's a three-step process and step four involves just identifying the domain and the range. So let's work through how we should do this. So step number one, we know we need some asymptotes because we do have a rational function. And so we're gonna have a vertical and a horizontal asymptote. So how do we find those asymptotes? So for the vertical asymptote, we are gonna set the, de the denominator equal to zero um, and just solve for x, okay? And that's gonna give us our vertical asymptote because remember our vertical line is x equals a number. Now the horizontal asymptote is just the line y equals a divided by c. So it's our coefficients that are before x and we divide them. So now that we have those two asymptotes, step two is we're going to plot points to the left of the vertical asymptote and also to the right of the vertical asymptote. So I kind of left that off in the video there or on the screen. So number, step number three, once we have our, our points on the left of the vertical asymptote and on the right of the vertical asymptote, we're gonna draw the two branches of the hyperbola so that they pass through the plotted points and approach the asymptotes. So once we've done that, we've done our graph, we're good. And then we're gonna evaluate our graph and identify the domain and the range. So for the domain, we know it's just all real numbers except the x value of our vertical asymptote. Okay, so that's literally all we need to say, all real numbers except whatever our x is equal to for our vertical asymptote. Now for our range, we're gonna say the same thing, but now it's all real numbers except our y value of the horizontal asymptote, okay? So let's look at our example in this video. We're gonna graph f of x equals three x minus one over x plus two. And then once we do that, we're gonna state the domain and the range. All right, so step number one, let's identify and draw our vertical and horizontal asymptote. So for our vertical asymptote, we have x plus two. So we're gonna set that equal to zero and we just get x is equal to negative two. So that's our vertical asymptote. So draw a vertical line through negative two here. And since it's an asymptote, I'm gonna draw it as a dashed line, okay? Now for our horizontal asymptote, it would be y is equal to a over c. Well, a is three and c would be one, okay? So it's just y is equal to three, okay? So y is equal to three would be this horizontal line right here. And once again, I'm gonna make that a dashed line. Okay, so now I have those two asymptotes there. Now we're gonna look at our table of values. Uh, notice I've already picked some x values that are three to the left of the vertical asymptote and three to the right. So we're just gonna take these six values for x and we're gonna plug them in into our original rational function. So for when x is negative nine, plugging it in for both of the x values here. So three times negative nine would be negative 27. Negative 27 minus one is negative 28. And then in the bottom, we would have negative nine plus two, which would be negative seven. So negative 28 over negative seven, and that would give us a positive four. So we have negative nine and four, okay? Now negative four, so three times negative four would be negative 12. Negative 12 minus one would be negative 13. And then we have negative four plus two, which would be negative two. So negative 13 over negative two, so six and a half. So negative four, six and a half. And that point would go negative four, six and a half, right about right there. All right, and now for negative three. So three times negative three would be negative nine. Negative nine minus one would be negative 10. And then negative three plus two would be negative one. And negative 10 over negative one would be 10. So negative three and 10. Okay, so we've got this piece right here. And that's one of our branches. Now let's do the right side of our vertical asymptote. So when x is negative one, so three times negative one would be negative three, negative three minus one would be negative four. So negative four um, would be our numerator, and then negative one plus two would be one. So this would give us negative four over one, which is negative four. So negative one and negative four, okay? All right, and when x is zero, three times zero, zero. Zero minus one, negative one, and zero plus two would be Two. So negative one half there, make that a little more clear that it's negative, negative one half. So zero, negative one half would be about right there. And lastly, five. So three times five would be 15, 15 minus one would be 14, and five plus two would be seven. So 14 over seven, and that gives us a two. So five and two, all right? So now we graph these. 
and we have our graph. Okay, so we have our two branches there on our hyperbola. And so now we can state our domain and our range. So for domain, we're going to say all real numbers. Okay, so that's our symbol for real numbers. So all real numbers except, so except, um, and we have negative two, right? Because that would be this asymptote right here. All right, and then for our range, once again, all real numbers, but we're going to say except for three, because that would be our horizontal asymptote right there. Okay, and so that's how you can graph the rational function y equals ax plus b over cx plus d.